Hey, I'm Jen, and if you're new here, you probably don't realize that I am an outfit repeater. You are an outfit repeater! Yes, it's true, I got a lot of clothes in my wardrobe, but I just continue to wear the same thing for the, like the last 10 years. So I thought today it would be interesting because I recently did a video and realized that some of my shirts are like 10 years old or even older. So I wanted to kind of celebrate the clothing that has made it this far in my life and been with me through everything. I understand that clothes don't usually last this long in a wardrobe, not because we don't want it, but because bodies change and like, you know, 10 plus years ago I was a teenager, so my style may have been a little bit different, but for majority of my life I have been trying to get pieces of clothing, usually, that kind of go under the motto of being classic and can last forever, good quality fabrics, blah blah blah. It doesn't mean that they're boring clothes, it just means that I will personally wear them for a long time coming. And I think that's a good thing to think about when you're buying anything in life. Like, is this going to last? Is it appropriate for a long time? Or am I just gonna wear it one time and never wear it again? That is probably not a good way to go about things. So yeah, you want something that's gonna last a while. I did. Now, yes, I'm wearing track pants with this outfit, but I wanted to show you that the thing that's been in my life for a long time is Marty. And if you hear any weird noises, it's probably him. He's like nine years old. I think of him just like as a puppy though. So I think, yeah, he's a puppy. He's still got life left in him. Also, I like kind of got food on me. So let's just ignore. All right. I screwed up my setup. First thing on the list, I mean, second thing after Martin, these blue denim short overalls, which I have lived in. Literally, these are the first things I bought on eBay. They cost me like 50 bucks, but I think I got them over 10 years ago. I literally cannot figure it out, but they are Tommy Helfinger, Tommy Jean overalls. See, we got the Tommy in the back here and then the straps say Tommy jeans. Now I have had to alter the straps so much, like just sew it into the overalls because they just have stretched out and they don't have any elastic left in them. But how I have it now is perfect. I mean, I can't adjust them, but do I need to? I'm the only one wearing them. And yeah, these bad boys have been with me through a lot, a lot of festivals, and they're kind of a more oversized fit, which is awesome because they've been able to fit me for quite a long time. So yeah, they fit still, even to this day. And they're probably my number one out of everything here that, you know, I love the most, so. So I have this dress, which is actually a recent addition, but I thought I could add it to this list because it's actually my great grandma's slip dress like she's been wearing this her whole life i mean rest her soul she was great but now it's mine it's kind of like this see-through black the length is perfect because it's not too short slip dress now i do wear like some shorts underneath this if i'm going to wear it so i'm not like showing everything but it works so well under dresses when I need it or I just wear it by itself. And it kind of looks grungy, gothic, but also kind of cute with some Doc Martens. So I really love this and I literally do not know how old it is. Now I think my t-shirt that I mentioned before is in the wash, but basically it is my Coldplay t-shirt that I have had. I think the tour was in like, I want to say 2012 or something. So I got that shirt in size medium because at the time medium was kind of big on me and I thought I need this shirt to fit the rest of my life. So I've worn the shirt to death and I am never getting rid of it even though I'm not like the biggest Coldplay fan anymore but like their music's classic so I have to keep the shirt and I just love black tees so that is in my wardrobe forever. This is another tee that is never leaving my sight. No, I don't wear it as much. It's a size small. This was in the era where I like to have shirts that actually fit me. Um, but now I like it oversized fit. But the graphic is so cool. So this is for Block Party, which is my all-time favorite band, like, my whole life. Like, currently, I guess Tame Impala and Flume are 
also up there with my favorite band. Like, how are you supposed to pick one band to be your favorite band? I don't know. But I've liked Block Party for the longest time. Like, since I was like in my single digits. Or something. This one is literally the band dressed as like bowling pins. And this is like what the band used to be. They've actually like chopped and changed a little bit. They don't have the same members. So it's kind of cool to have a little bit of the old band together on a t-shirt and ah it was just like the golden days and the concert like anytime you have a concert tee it just like you get the memories back from the concert and it feels like you're there again when was 2017 2018 2019 2020 five years ago these jeans here they are green everyone should know by now if you don't my favorite color is green. These jeans I found in Wellington in New Zealand when I was living there and I had seen them at a particular thrift store there. Well, it wasn't a thrift, well, yeah. It was a thrift store, but you know when they like sell things for like mad prices, like jeans for like 90 bucks, even though they're secondhand? Well, these were there and I looked at them so many times and I could just tell they were gonna fit like a glove and they did, but I didn't buy them for so long. Eventually no one had bought them and I was there with my friend and we were like, fuck it, let's, <laughs> let's just get the things we want. So I got these jeans and I'm not mad about it because I have worn them so, so much. They have definitely got some wear, like the pockets are coming apart a little bit and as well as like, I think the thigh is gonna come apart eventually. But that's just what happens when you have something that you love. The good thing about them though is they're a thick denim which always lasts way, way longer. And you can just mend it if something happens and it'll still hopefully look cool. So this skirt has technically been in my life, my whole entire life, I would say. I'm not gonna disclose how long that has been because you cannot ask a woman that. I have this wrap skirt. My mum actually made this skirt, I think, when she was in her late teens or early 20s. So do the math here, it's quite old. She actually had it quite a bit longer, so it was like past the knee, but me being me as a teenager, I cut it short to a mini skirt, and I have worn this thing so many times and so many eras of my life, and it is just so cute. I love the pattern. Gives me very 80s vibes, but you can totally dress it up, dress it down, depending on t-shirts or if you wear a nice top with it. A good wrap skirt is always an awesome thing to have in your wardrobe, especially if you're traveling. Now, I'm only thinking about traveling because I just realized that I'm going to Europe, which is, I'm so excited and so unexpected, but you can roll this up, like really, really small, which is what you gotta look for. <laughs> So that is actually like a really good example of being extremely sustainable. I was given that from my mom, hand me down clothing. I didn't even buy it. I didn't, I'm not throwing it away. I'm not ruining the environment. I'm just wearing it and giving it a life. Okay. And to be honest, that skirt's probably lived more than I have. So this jacket may not look like much to you guys, I honestly love the pattern on it. It just looks so vintage and cute. But honestly, my mom made this. Yes, my mom has featured a lot in this video. She must have been stylish when she was younger, but she created this, I think at school or like when she was like 16 or something. It's this really, really cool oversized jacket and you probably haven't seen it much in my videos because A, it's not cold here and every time I'm traveling, I don't have enough room in my bag for such a big jacket even if I'm going to a winter place. Like I like to just thrift things when I'm there. So yeah, you probably haven't seen it much in my videos but this is not leaving my sight for the rest of my life, it's so, cool it's got so much sentiment of value and i feel like i'll probably still wear this when i'm like 90. like can you imagine me gardening i got my like cats and then like this jacket i'm imagining i'm like living in england or something but i love this jacket and i can't believe my mom made it oh my god i just realized you guys are probably here to hear about some shoes <laughs> doc martens that have been in my life for like 10 years yeah these are probably going on 10 years this year. I got these like 
as my first pair technically because I got two pairs. I got black ones and the Nappa and I also got these red ones. The Nappa ones are not with me anymore because they were actually a size bigger and I had worn them to death. So they're still looking pretty good. Like this is 10 years later. Like look at the soles. I mean, to be fair, I haven't worn them as much because when I had the black pair, I'd always wear those. But I always have these as an option and they always look so cool. On par with these are also these ones, <laughs> which are my 1461s. I feel like I have had these for maybe like eight years or something. And again, the classics just hold out so well and you can keep wearing them. They never go out of style and they're not too bad looking. I've worn these a lot actually because they're pretty comfortable once you wear them in. It takes a while. Oh my god, there is one more pair um, that I'll quickly touch on. Ah! But yes, this is another pair. I got these in the end of 2015. These ones are not looking as great as the others only because I wore them traveling around the world and I wore them every single day so like the sole is like flat almost. We have a little bit of stuff happening here, which I might have to fix up with like a brown pen or something so you can't notice it. Naturally, this kind of Doc Mun actually ages quite fast. Like immediately when you wear it, it shows signs of like wear and stuff. So that is probably why they look more like this. But if you like this look, it's cool, right? So next up we have, ah! This belt, <laughs> which is again my mom's. She got this probably, I think, when she was like traveling in her 20s. Um, it is this very nice. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. Let me see. <laughs> I'm doing the like old school YouTube thing, but it's got this really cool pattern. I love the teals. Like, teal and orange is always a good thing. I wear it with everything, and I've had it for such a long time, so. Love it. Next one is this hat, and you've probably seen this in a lot of Instagram posts. Um, feel free to go follow me on there, please, because literally, I don't, I'm stagnant over there. Go help me out, guys. Now this hat has this little bow on the front, it's velvet, and like, I wonder what it says on, it says one size fits all. Which is true because I literally had it when I was four years old, and now I am not four years old, and it still fits me. Some people may say that it's not made for an adult, but I contradict that statement. Now I use this bag like pretty much every day. I think I got it in, it's not that old actually. I got it in 2019, I got it in Japan and it's just like this little tiny like bag, which you can turn into a fanny pack if you like put a belt through this section. Sometimes I put the strap through that section and then wear it around my waist. But I can tell that I'm gonna have this for like a very long time. Seems like it's gonna hold up for a while. I mean, it is getting a bit funky on there, but I think it's still gonna work. And yeah, it's just a perfect size because it fits everything I need, like my camera, and my wallet, which is basically nothing. I <laughs> just have cards and also my phone. So it's very convenient, especially when you're traveling and I love it. Now I am that girl with a Kankin, um, <laughs> but Kankins are such good value. Like when I was thinking about buying one, it took me ages because I didn't know like if it was worth all the money, but luckily I worked at Urban Outfitters so I could get some discounts. This one, I can fit my laptop in the bag, which is super handy when I'm traveling around or just going anywhere. So yeah, I think a Kankin's way worth it because it stays in style for ages. I know it had its like little like blip where everyone had one, but there's a reason because they're so cool. All right, now lastly, there's one more thing that's important to me, which is having jewelry that lasts forever. And I just always try to get things that don't tarnish and stuff so that I can just keep wearing it day to day. And what I'm mentioning is actually my earrings. Um, I like to get earrings that do not come out ever. So I think I've had these earrings in my head for like, how long? at least five years, these earrings have not left my ears. These round ones, um, I got them on Etsy. Um, I try to make sure, again, yeah, they don't tarnish or anything, but I just don't like changing my earrings, especially in the cartilage piercings, because 
they just never heal correctly and it just takes a long time so I try not to touch them. So yeah, I like to go with something minimalist and non-invasive to my ears. So yeah, they are a staple and they've been in there for a while, which is kind of crazy that I've had this metal neighbor with me the whole time. Yes, that is everything that has been in my closet for like five to 10 years, maybe even more. Um, it's really important to have things that last a while because there's so many things wasted in this world and like trashed and yeah. You may as well look after the environment where you can. So yeah, let me know what you guys have had in your closet for a long, long time or you think is gonna be in your closet forever. I have a few pieces that I didn't show you that I've got recently, but I think, I think they're gonna be staples for the rest of my life. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you like these kind of videos because I love to chat to you guys and I hope we can be pals. Subscribe down below if you want to. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wondering and keep like, you know, your clothes for a while.